Hey everyone, Clifton here with Clifton Creative Academy. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be learning how to create a transparent header with Elementor. Now, in this demo site that you're looking at, we already have a transparent header, but this transparent header is actually provided by the theme. And I am using the Astra theme to create this, uh, this transparent header here. So if you have the Astra uh, theme, uh, whether it's the free version or the pro version, you do have this capability of having a transparent header, okay? So where where is all this set up? Well, it's set up in the customizer or it's actually set up in the actual page. So if I go to customize here and we go to header, you will see that there's an option for a transparent header. And then you can set up all these settings here, colors and, and everything else that you've got there. But one of the great things about Astra uh, and the, the Astra theme is that I can also do this on a page by page basis. Meaning if I go to this page here, uh, by going to edit. And if you look here on the right side where it says transparent header, I can actually enable or disable or set it to be defaulted to the customizer setting. So in this case here, I'm gonna set it to disable so that you can see what it looks like without the transparent header. We're gonna go ahead and update that. And when we view the page, you'll see the original setting for the header where the header is supposed to be. We're no longer seeing the, the logo because the logo is white and this is set on a white background, okay? So by default, this is what this would look like. Now, typically when you have a transparent header, there are some really cool effects that occur with that. And with Elementor Pro, you're able to actually utilize the theme builder. So in this tutorial, we're really gonna be focusing on Elementor Pro, not the free version, uh, because in the Pro version, this will allow us to be able to create a transparent header that we control and we can even make it look you know, more cool than it is now with just the theme. Um, but unfortunately, the theme builder in Elementor Pro doesn't allow for creating a transparent header automatically. So we're gonna definitely need some help to be able to do that. And I'm going to show you how to accomplish this, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, now that we're in this default state, we're gonna go back into our dashboard. You're going to need to have installed Elementor Pro on your site in order for this to work and one additional plugin. Uh, that plugin, so if we go to my plugins here, that plugin that we want is this plugin right here called the Sticky Header Effect for Elementor. This is a completely free plugin and this plugin will allow us to create some header effects for our existing header, okay? So now if we uh, look at the site now, uh, what we'll notice is that we have this default header now, okay? So what we want to do is we want to impact this and change it to a header that we actually want. To do that, we're going to enlist the help of the Elementor templates feature using the theme builder, and we're going to go ahead and create a header of our own to take over this header, to get rid of this one, okay? So to do that, you're gonna go back into your dashboard, go to templates, go to the theme builder, and we're gonna select header, okay? Now it says create your first, first header. I'm gonna go here and click on add new header. We uh, are selecting the type of template that we're creating, and you can see the options here, but this is a header template. And in here, we're going to name this main header and I like to start with zero, main header zero. We're gonna create this template. And when you do that, the Elementor editing interface will open up and you can see we have some uh, default uh, templates already built for us courtesy of Elementor. But we're not gonna use any of these, we're gonna create our own, okay? This is, these are just starting points if you wanna use them or if you wanna use them as is. I'm a big fan of creating my own, so we're gonna create our own, okay? Now, immediately you'll notice because we are in the header creation uh, section of the Elementor theme builder, we have in here in our elements, some header specific elements, site logo, site title, page title, nav menu, search form and site map, okay? In addition to the normal uh, uh, regular basic elements and pro elements as well, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and build out our header. To do this, we're gonna go ahead and click on the structure uh, icon here and I am going to select a one column structure. Okay, I'm immediately gonna set that to be full width so that it goes all the way across, all right? Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna go here and under the columns gap, I like to set this to no gap, okay? So that it's completely flush. And in the vertical align part, I like to vertical align everything to the middle. Okay, so now I am done with that section, with this section area. 
Then the next thing that we want to do is we want to start putting, putting in our elements. The very first element we're going to add here, and to do that, just simply click on the elements icon for Elementor, which is this one right here. Okay. To do that, what we're going to do is we are going to we are going to select an inner section. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab an intersection and put this in there. Okay, there it is. So this intersection by default will give me two columns uh, so that I can have a logo on the left and a logo on the right. So this is the correct number of columns that I need. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna adjust this by dragging the center here over so that the logo column is a little shorter than the menu column. So let's make this 30%. Okay, awesome. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the elements selector here and I'm going to drag in the site logo. Now, typically if you've already uploaded your site logo in your theme, the Astro theme actually has a site logo section, then it will automatically pull that site logo in for you. Okay, so this is our site logo right here. You really can't see the, the white parts of it but uh, that, in my fact, you know what? Let's make let's add a little color temporarily so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and to that section, I'm just going to add a little dark, a little dark color like that. Okay, we'll, we'll get rid of it later, but for now, just so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so there's our logo. Okay, the next thing we need to add here in the elements section is our menu. So I'm going to go ahead and drag in a menu. Okay, the menu that we want is the menu for the law firm. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to go ahead and center this uh, menu. Like, oops, not like that. I actually wanted it like this. There we go. Center the menu. Okay. And if we notice, we have some misalignment here. And this is really easy to fix. All we need to do is select this section. Now, one really cool feature of Elementor is the navigator. Because if you notice here, I can't seem to get to my section here. There, I mean, this is the, this is the selector for the menu, selector for the uh, logo, selector for the external section, but there is one more section that's containing these two columns. So to do that, go here to the bottom left and you'll see this navigator icon, select it, and you'll get access to the Elementor Navigator. This allows us to navigate all the different components that build up your page or your section. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the section here. I'm going to click on the column, which allows me to select the uh, external column there. Okay. If I open this up more, I can I can now also select the inner section, right, which contains those two columns that I couldn't select before. So now that I have the inner section, I can now go over to the uh, to the settings panel on the left here, and I'm going to vertically align it, align everything to the middle just like that, okay? And we're done with our navigator, we can close that out, okay? So now I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. This is exactly what I wanted uh, to create. Now, one other thing we can do is we might wanna add a, we might wanna add a button, right? What if we wanna add a button to the end of this menu, okay? So uh, that would be cool to have. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add one more column by right-clicking on the column I'm gonna click on add new column and that creates a column here. And then I'm gonna to go to my elements panel and I'm going to select, I'm gonna look for a button that I like. So here's one here. And this button will be called free consultation. All right, we're going to center that button and we are going to give it a cool color. So right here under the background color, I want a sort of golden, very close to the menu color right there. Let's make it a little, a little dark, a little, okay, right there's perfect, okay. And then on the hover, uh, whoops, what did I do? Background color, uh, okay. On the hover, we're going to give it another color kind of a lighter version so that when it hovers over, it lightens up a little bit right there. Okay, great. Uh, text color can be white, that's fine. And uh, for the main text color, we'll keep that white as well. Okay, great. So this is now our button. And then once again, now I can just drag this over 
until everything is aligned perfectly. Okay, just like that. Now, if I feel like my button is too big, which I do feel it's too big, I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more edits to the style of it. So one, one thing that I can do here uh, on the style is I can go to topography and we can make the text a little smaller. So we'll make this uh, 15 pixels, okay? And then I can also make the, whoops. Okay, I can also make uh, the padding of it. Uh, let's unlink this. I can make the padding a little bit better. So maybe on the top we have 10 pixels, on the bottom we have 10 pixels, and then on the right we'll have 20, and on the left we'll have 20. Okay, so that looks that looks a little bit better, not, not so big. All right, all right, great, now we are happy. So this looks really good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and remove that background that I did here just so we can see what we're, what we're doing. Um, let me go ahead and move this over just a little bit. And I'm gonna change, I'm gonna remove the background because we don't want this background. So I'm gonna come here, we're gonna clear that out. Then I will publish this and it's going to ask me, where do you want to display your template? So this is where you can create a condition of where you want this header to show up. And the header can show up anywhere you want. You can have it on the entire site, we can have it on archives, we can have it on single pages. And if you have custom post types, you could even select those as well. So in this one, we're gonna say we want it on the entire site. I'm gonna click save and close. And now our header is now live. Okay, so how do we know that the header is live? If we go to our site now, and I refresh the page, you can see that our header is now in place, right? Okay. So the very next thing that we need to do is we need to make this a transparent header. And what makes it a transparent header is this section will overlay over the uh, over this big featured image right here, okay? So let's go back to our editor here and what we're going to do to create that effect of a transparent header is we're going to go to our advanced section here and we're gonna to go to motion effects, okay? Now there are a couple of things that we can do here under the motion effects, but the main reason I wanna be here is I want this motion effect here to be at the top, okay? I'm sorry, the sticky, I want the sticky effect on the top. Why? So that when I scroll, I want that header to stay in place um, and stay at the top, okay? Now the next thing that we need to look at here is to look at the sticky header effects. Now this is, this is not here in Elementor by default. The reason this is here is because we installed that free sticky header effects plugin uh, earlier on. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna enable the sticky header effects. Okay, now it says right here, sticky header effects is best used with Elementor Pro sticky option enabled. Now you can see why we enabled our sticky option here. Okay, so sticky header effects. We're gonna come here and we're gonna say the scroll distance for the sticky header to, to effect is gonna be 60. We'll leave that as is. We want uh, the header to be transparent initially. We're gonna do a header background when you start scrolling uh, and I would like it to be a dark color. So I would like it to be a little dark, not a little, very little uh, opacity there, okay? We don't wanna border, but we do wanna shrink it a little bit so that you can see more of the page as you uh, scroll. So that's gonna shrink it a little bit and then here at the uh, as the logo part, yeah, we want the logo to shrink, and typically about eighty percent is fine. So I'll just do fifty-five pixels, and that is really all we need at this point. So here I'm going to go ahead and update this, and then let's see how we're doing so far. If I come here and we refresh, there it is. You now notice that we now have a transparent header. Okay, and it's laid over very nicely and we can see all our items. Now, what happens when we scroll? Well, when you start to scroll, you notice that the header stays in place, it's very visible and you can now scroll up and down without any problem. Okay, and you have this beautiful uh, sticky header effect. This is done with Elementor Pro and the free plugin, sticky header effects with Elementor. Okay, so that concludes our 
uh, our video for today, our tutorial for today. If you really like this video, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified for any uh, for the upcoming videos that we have coming uh, coming up. Also, if you have any comments about the video, if you have anything that you want to let us know, if you have videos that you want to see, put that in the comments. We read the comments and we will make that video for you and uh, publish it. And that's why you want to make sure that you hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you can be notified about those videos as soon as it happens. Thank you very much. This is Clifton with Clifton Creative Academy, and I will see you in the next video.